your girl Tony Time, and I'm back with some more Sims for you. And it's been a hot minute since I've been on here. Y'all, life. We don't really care. Just life. But okay, so I bought the new pastel pop kit and the new um, clutter kit that the Sims team announced that they were going to release. And so I want to go through those kits with you guys really quickly and then i'm also gonna have a little side note because y'all know i don't know how to be quiet i always got something to say so we're gonna get into that in a second as well but first let me just introduce the kits so since for pastel pop kit all right so we have the avant basic which i thought was so cool and like just the name it sounds really cute and so we have decorating should be fun and carefree. Give your room a quirky side with irregular but simple shapes in dreamy pastel colors. This collection has heart chairs, mirrors shaped like puddles, and even more ways to incorporate whimsy into everyday design. And so I have seen a few things already on Twitter, um, on Sims Twitter, where people were just like showing off the candle and the, I think it was a new computer or something that came with it. Maybe, it was, maybe the computer didn't come with this one. It might've came with everyday clutter. I don't know which one it came with, but I heard we got a new computer. I saw these little candles and I saw the um, puddle mirror, that mirror that's on the wall right there that I thought was very, very cute. Then we have Blast from the Past. Create a contemporary space that draws inspiration from times gone by. The patterned bed sheets and psychedelically curved table legs in the kit are nostalgic for summertime in the 60s and 70s, but they still fit right in with the modern understated decor. All right, so I'm ready to see what this actual kit is all about. It looks very, very whimsical, as it said. Lots of curves, not straight lines, not sleek. I think this will be a cute kit for kids as well as teenagers as well as your adults who have a very playful side to them that i think is going to be adorable and then we have the everyday clutter kit which is here i saw this little picture with the watch and the glasses and i was like what is that that is adorable and i remember did i i don't remember listen i remember talking about clutter and I can't remember if I mentioned it or if I said somebody else mentioned it. I mentioned it in one of these past few videos about how we need more clutter, but I can't remember if it was something I was just thinking of or if it was something that I heard somebody say and I was like, yes. But yeah, I think this is gonna be a cute kit, especially because you have to make your own clutter in the game, especially with debug objects and stuff like that. And I'm not a debug object queen, so this is gonna be a very helpful kit for me. So it says, it's personal, a cell phone case in your Sims' favorite color, a stack of books and games placed off to the side in their living room, a creative display of pictures. This collected, or sorry, this collection includes ton of small personal touches that will make your Sims house feel more like home. I'm very excited for that. As well as show to tell, scattering used coffee cups to show your Sim is a big fan of caffeine or adding makeup and jewelry boxes to the top of their dresser for a hint at their morning routine are just a couple of examples of the visual, visual storytelling this kit empowers. So I'm very interested in this one as well. I have been um, updating my Sims personal home like my personal sims home for a while literally for like the last three months i've been like just adding little touches here and there and so i'm very happy to have these kits because i'm gonna go in add some more stuff and then i'm gonna upload it once again to the gallery i had uploaded it already to the gallery and i've made such big overhauls to different rooms since then so i'm very excited to get this uh family home back on the sims gallery for you all so let me go in and I'm just going to quickly go to kits right here just to make sure we're going to hit everything. I want to just kind of see what is happening. Okay, so it looks like we have almost a full three um, sections. We have two and a half like lines that are filled. I did see this cracker type looking carpet. Um, I still don't know how I feel about that. I kind of hate it, but I don't know. <laughs> and so we have quite a bit here. And then we also have the everyday clutter kit, which I think I saw was less. Oh no, it's actually more, it's three full rows. And so yeah, we have quite a bit. Let's just get into it. We're not gonna spend too much time on this because honestly, I really just wanna decorate. All right, so we are now here with the items. I'm going to get a wall up just in case. Okay, yeah, it does look like we have a wall and flooring. Also, I'm currently eating a Jolly Rancher, so I'm sorry if I sound crazy but your girl's hungry and I ain't eat dinner yet and it is like 10 o'clock at night and I'm very hungry. But this is my uh, my motivation to actually record so I can go eat. <laughs> but while I'm doing this and while I'm just getting some of these different things up, I really 
really quickly want to talk about the um like the backlash that's been going on on Twitter. I don't know if anybody's been and listen, I'm late. I'm late to the Sims Twitter with the black creators and the big um Sims announcement with Project Renee, all that. I've been late. And I also haven't been recording videos. But I feel like I need to talk about it. Just because there's been so much happening and you guys can watch this as I'm um as I'm talking. But there's been so much happening, all right, on Sims Twitter with the Sims gurus. I don't know if you guys know, but basically there was this whole thing about how people were upset because black simmers were not getting a lot of credit or recognition um, just from like the general Sims team. And so a lot of black simmers just started putting Sims guru in their name and it became a whole big thing, right, on Twitter. That's me simplifying it to the to the most basic point. All right. And then there were obviously people who were upset. Um, some people were real Sims gurus. Some were, were just, I guess, kind of doing what a lot of people, I feel, have done before on Twitter. is just, like, throw Sims guru in their name just to, like, try to get followers and stuff like that. Long story short, I don't know how I feel because I know that the Sims team came out and apologized. Um, I think it was, it was on Sims Twitter where they apologized. They apologized on Sims Twitter saying, listen, we're sorry about the lack of representation for um, black creators. We're in the works to, to basically do better, right? All right, cool. I can get behind that. That's fine. Now that you know, we can do better. Great. Don't know why we always have to have an issue. And it's not just um, black simmers that usually have an issue. It's every community has had an issue, right? I then found out through this black simmer, sim guru thing that a lot of Jewish simmers were saying that they wanted some Jewish, um, like traditions or foods and things like that in the game. And I do know we have, um, a menorah and things like that in the game from the, the holiday kit or the holiday free release that they came out with, with the Christmas trees and stuff. And then they gave us a bunch of stuff for Kwanzaa and Hanukkah, things like that. We got that for them. And a lot of them were like, but can we have some more? Can we have some traditional foods, right? Like we have some Latin foods. We have the spare ribs that just came out for Black History Month last year. Um, we have a lot of different things, right? But they were asking for more representation, basically, for Jewish simmers, which, listen, I can get behind. I want everybody to be able to feel like they can see themselves in the Sims, which is something I know other simmers, like um, simmers who have disabilities, like people in wheelchairs, people with heterochromia, people with um, vitiligo, lots of different things, right? A lot of people always ask, hey, can we have wheelchairs? Hey, can we have two-toned eyes just coming with base game? Hey, can we have different skin conditions? Hey, can we have people with prosthetics in the game so we don't have to go and download Maxis Match content or all this other random content? Why doesn't it just come with the game if we're supposed to represent ourselves, right? I can get behind that. I have no problems with that. I guess what I'm asking is why do we have to bend over backwards all the time to try to get something from the sims like the, the from the sims literally from the sims i don't know why okay but basically what i'm saying is i don't know why we always have to bend backwards as different sims players to ask for representation and i'm glad that that simmers black simmers especially got an apology from the sims team or just some type of recognition of yes we understand we messed up and we're gonna do better in the future I love that. Now, like I said, now that you know better, you can do better. That's great. But I also am wondering how come, and maybe this is me looking too deep into it, but you guys remember when my wedding stories came out, right? And everybody was like, it's a flop. Or basically it was this whole big thing about how they were not going to put um, the original poster for my wedding stories, which was the lesbian couple. They were not going to release that in Russia um, because Russia was against gay marriage, pretty much, right? Again, me simplifying the problem, but in the simplest terms, that's what it was. And then the Sims team came back, um, when Wedding Stories was released, I think it was like, it might've been the day before it was supposed to get released or the day it was getting released. It was very close. It was very close in time frame to when the release was, within a week at least. 
basically what happened was the Sims team came out and said, listen, you guys, we now understand that what we did was wrong. We're going to release the, the game, how it was originally meant to be in all countries, Russia included. Damn, the Russian government or whatever saying we're doing what we want, right? They did that, which was great. And they made a whole announcement. They made an announcement on Twitter. They made an official announcement on the Sims website, like the official Sims website that everybody goes to for all the information, updates, things like that. It was amazing. And that was basically like a big win for the LGBT plus Simmer community, right? They were just like, oh my gosh, we're so happy this is happening. People were obviously upset though, because just like, again, why do we have to bend over backwards and do a thousand things and say, listen, this is wrong. You guys should still release it. What the hell are you doing? But I find just that comparison of that situation very interesting when compared to the situation with the black simmers or the Jewish simmers, right? We're over here saying, hey, listen, you guys are always highlighting white simmers or X, Y, and Z simmers, but the simmers of color are not getting the same shine. Um, LGBTQ simmers are not getting the same shine. Uh, Jewish simmers are not getting the same shine or the same representation, right? And I'm just naming groups. But... I don't know why, or I'm very curious why there was such a large, quick, swift, competent, <laughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reflection, I'll say, reflection or response to the My Wedding Stories, right, with the LGBTQ community versus the, oh, we're so sorry, we're going to do better. And then here's some Bantu knots and a twist and twist for as a free update for Black Simmers, which I'm just like, don't put a Band-Aid on it. Thank you for that. I love the new hairs. Um, but can we please get an actual legitimate cognizant apology like <laughs> everybody else? You don't apologize to somebody on, I wouldn't say their smallest platform because they still have millions of people, right, on Twitter. That's not the point. The point is, why does one community get such a big public outcry apology? And then the other communities are, here, we're going to throw some hairs at you and say, we're sorry, and we're going to do better. And I don't know if they're going to do better, because from the track record, it looks like they just continue to either do the same thing or they put a Band-Aid on it. Here's some hairs. Here's some free stuff. Okay, leave us alone. I, I, I might be reaching. Like I said, I might be reaching. Maybe I sound crazy. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is what it looks like to me, okay? And maybe, maybe I'm just reaching, maybe I'm going nuts, but that's what it looks like to me. Anyway, I'm going to stop here because I've already probably gone off on like a five, ten minute tangent. I'm so sorry about that. So far, I like this pack. So far, this pack, the Pastel Pop pack, um, is very, very cute. <laughs> Again, very childlike. I love these brick things though, like the brick desk and um, side table, adorable. So you can see the pastel pop kit right here is a strawberry and the clutter kit is a little envelope with a cup. That is very cute. Again, this uh, these kits are not necessary. It's really just, I guess, if you wanna keep your Sims collection up to date if you have every other pack and you really, really are just like trying to keep that, keep that streak up, you can get it. Or if you really do want clutter, it's not a bad deal for $5. I paid $4.99 for each of these packs. So altogether, I paid um, pretty much like with tax about $12. Was not a big deal to me. Um, but I thought that it was very useful because I always love clutter. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think this is very, very adorable. <laughs> this little box with these letters in it it's kind of like a love letter or something from a loved one that you kind of just find what is this fondly felted floral creation oh it's felt that is adorable I love that these pastel colors though are gorgeous and I love these glasses too because they look very similar to some glasses we already have in Kaz especially for kids oh my gosh these are shoes their shoes. Oh, that's so cute for a sneakerhead sim. 
You can have some limited edition shoes. These look very um custom content, like Maxis Match type. That's what those look like. I like those. Okay, what's this? Speaking of intention active set. Oh, it's a little yoga mat. It's a yoga mat and a dumbbell. I love that. Oh my God, that is so... Is that what the... That's what the Everyday Clutter Kit... I was about to say, is this the Everyday Clutter Kit or is this the pastel one? But that's very nice. I love that. All right, we have two more. Two more rows and then we're done. Let me see my Ritz Cracker <laughs> um, carpet. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't... Oh, that made me hungry and I don't it looks like a macaroon um I don't don't know how I feel about this still but okay <laughs> let me see what's this those look like keys yeah these are keys and a phone very nice a uh, antique spare watch literally I'm just throwing it all on the table like it's fine okay so antique spare watch keys and a phone very I like how the keys change like you guys see the keys are customized with the along with everything else very very nice um what is this let me move that over here it's floating now but it's fine oh this is the one that I saw with the watch and the glasses so what is that on the paper is it supposed to be like they're selling it or is it like a to-do list I can't really tell I guess maybe it's a to-do list once upon a time chess kit. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. The way they spelled pawn. It was like a pawn in a chess game. P-A-W-N. Over here, the adorably adorned jewelry, uh, what does it say? Jewelry stand. Very nice. I love that. It looks like some feather earrings, a little cute brace, a few little cute bracelets. And oh, oh, the necklaces and things change. That's very nice. I love that. So you can literally kind of personalize it as close to your sim style as possible. I am loving this. Oh my gosh, so cute. This one is adorable, the makeup thing. I could see this in like a makeup sims home, like a beauty girl or somebody who just wears makeup every day. This is beautiful because it's that little clutter um, water bottle, but it has like a bunch of other weights and stuff and the mat and the sweat mats or the, I'm sorry, yoga mats. I said sweat mat <laughs> and towels and things. What is this? A slightly creative collection. What is this? I can't tell. It kind of looks like a squeegee. I'm guessing it's like paintbrushes and stuff and a tablet maybe. Not 100% sure, but it looks cool. <laughs> oh, these are like gaming headphones. These are adorable. Yeah, I like those. Those are like illuminated headphones. Very nice. All right. And we're coming to our last stuff right here. Let me just throw this um rug right here. Oh, wow. Okay. These are what child? Where, where's the purple? Wait, let me see. There we go. <laughs> I love the afternoon light because the afternoon light is just the best to me. Like it shows the best. And I'm also in um my favorite place, Magnolia, Magnolia um, Blossom Park, because this is the best place, in my opinion, in the whole entire game with the best lighting. So like you guys just saw, we basically got blinded by the light. <laughs> all right, so all this stuff hangs up. Let me just hang up a bunch of stuff. These are those candles that I saw. Let me see if I can kind of find them a spot to kind of just throw themselves. Can I, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of cutting off here, but it's okay. Let's just see what the colors look like. I kind of really like these. And then the last one is the lamp finds a way. So let me see. This is like a salt lamp, which just a word to the wise. I was an RA in college. Those are the people, the resident assistants who like make sure you're basically not burning down the building or misbehaving. And we learned all about fire safety um, as RAs. I'm just going to throw that there for two seconds. And they told us that the salt lamps were not okay for people to wear, in, to have, I said to wear, <laughs> to have in their rooms because they cause fires. I don't know if anybody knows that, but they're basically a big fire hazard. So please, if you have one of those, don't keep it plugged in if you want to keep it. But I just say don't plug in it at all. And honestly, I just don't even keep them because there's so many of them that have exploded. Not good. Trust me. This is just another makeup area. Adorable. Can this like sit stuff on it? 
that'd be nice. Wait, let me see if I can grab like some, can I grab these? Oh no, I was gonna see if you could like kind of sit stuff on the tray. That would have been adorable. All right. And then over here we have this, oh, I love this. Those little flowers, adorable on this bookshelf. And I'm glad we got a bookshelf. Very nice, honestly, again. Oh, I can't. This is too cute. Oh, and some of them, sorry, I didn't even realize, some of them don't have the flowers on the side. There's just on a few of them. Okay, well, that's very nice. That makes it a lot more flexible with where you put it because it doesn't have to look so childish. And up here we have those hats again, or that hat again. Um, some bags, so I'm coming back to the stuff on the wall, a fishing pole, very nice, I adore this, so cute, that's very cute, and I like how the, every picture, it looks like every picture changed, oh no, just the picture of the person, okay, and then this last one, well, I hope y'all didn't just hear that crunch on my candy, oops, all right, I I really think this was cute for five dollars each basically so this is pretty much everything we got it's a decent amount do I think it was worth it for each kit being $4.99 um I would actually say yeah it's not bad for $4.99 this was not bad was it everything I've ever dreamed of and expected no but it was $4.99 <laughs> it was something it's basically a money grab which is what I've been saying all kits are but you know what? I'm a sucker. So I paid for it. Um, after my rant earlier today, I hope you guys can just like look a little bit more into it yourselves. See what you think of it. But those were just my feelings on the matter. And my feelings are subject to change. If I find out more information, hey, I might come back and be like, listen, I was wrong and X, Y, Z, right? Now, do I think that's likely to happen? Probably not. But I never say never. So... What I will say is I hope that the Sims team will continue to try to better the game for everybody's sake because nobody should feel like they are a second class Simmer citizen, right? We all spend our money on the game or our time in, invested in the game in making it better and nobody wants to feel like they're just being blatantly ignored or torn down, or anything like that. And so I think that the Sims just team in general needs to remember that the people are here to help you make the game great, promote it, love it, love on it, and then continue to support you through the different franchises, especially with Project Renee coming out, which also got leaked. A whole nother side story that I'm not getting into right now. But yeah do I think these packs were worth it I'd say hey if you have $4.99 you feel like you like clutter you feel like you like these pretty colors get them get them they're cute am I gonna continue supporting sims I will but I really 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 want to see the changes I've always I've been complaining about things like this representation and I've been just speaking from uh my experience as a black American female of saying like hey I want more textured hairs I want darker skin tones that don't look ashy as hell like we need to put cocoa butter on them like there are just some things I, I ask for that I've been asking for for a while and sometimes I get them sometimes I don't sometimes it takes a long time to get that representation or that fix in but yeah we're, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens they said the sims team said that they're working with a black creator currently on improving stuff I don't know who they're working with but I know a lot of people were saying they wanted the black representation they wanted the black simmers they wanted the black simming gurus they wanted the black EA players things like that involved and so that's what I'm going to be on the lookout for all right hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment below um saying what you think of these packs are you going to get them are you not and also are you aware of the, I'll, I'll put it in quotes, Sims drama going on with the Sim Girl thing? Just, I'm just very curious where everybody's thinking or where everybody's uh, thinking is at. Okay, that's all I have. Like I said, Sims will see repeat and I'll see you on the next one. It's your girl telling time. I'm out. Bye.